Pages of the Nation. Today's episode, I'm joined by Mark Lady Faye of IPA and Mrs. Stoutfire at her place, Mr. Zub's Deli and Bar. It's 80s night, and the divas can't wait to hear some 80s music. To get us warmed up, we feature four beers from Fatness Brewery here in Ohio. You'd be surprised at how we rate these since three out of four are IPAs. Lady Faye reads a poem by Robert Graves about strong beer. Test your knowledge with my quiz and so much more. Stay tuned. Warning, what you're about to watch is purely for my own mental well-being. But let's face it, it's some pretty funny stuff. You're about to witness a crazy diva hitting a midlife crisis and it's all on camera with a little help from her friends. Viewer discretion is not advised. Beer Divas, 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 Beer Divas. Welcome to the Beer Diva Show, where wine is dumb and the craft beer world has taken over the dull American beer scene once and for all. I'm your host, Dr. Brewski, and with me is Lady Faye of IPA. Hello. And we are here at Mr. Zub's Deli and Bar in Highland Square, Akron, Ohio. And if you can't tell, tonight is 80s night 80s night so of course the divas have to be here and we got to bring it ready to rock ready to rock and roll baby okay so the featured brewery tonight at mr zubs is For 80s night. So what we did was, uh, Lady Faye asked for a couple of fat heads, for two. and they gave us four. Got four. So we got four to sample tonight, and uh, I know you're excited because a lot of them are IPAs. IPAs baby. So this is all up Lady Faye's alley. So uh, let's get started with my favorite segment of the show, Fear of It's beer review time. All right, the first one we've got is called Head Hunter IPA. The ABV on this is 7.5%. All right. All right, let's do it. If you can see, it's a pretty nice, like dark golden color, right? Amber. Now this is going to be a mess. <laughs> God. Here, I'll try to be better with yours. Oh, I just got my shoe. My shoe's taking a little drinky drink. <laughs> Luckily, we have lots of napkins. Right. All right. So right away, uh, you know, little darkish color, right? I think it's kind of, well, I don't think it's dark. I think it's golden with a touch a of amber. A little golden, yeah, a little touch of, a amber, touch of like amber, like light amber, right? Mm. Well, I mean, of course, smells. Smells like IPA. Smells like right up her perfumey alley, right? It's citrusy, it's got that hoppy IPA. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Yum! Refreshing. I love it. Refreshing. So, very little aftertaste for an Exactly. Day. Not too bad. Uh, the effervescence of it, the, you know, it's got some good bite, but not too harsh on your tongue. It's very light for an IPA. Very light for an IPA. I would classify that as a warm weather IPA. Not one that you want to warm up with, one you want to cool down with. So they might have Very used nice. a lot of the hoppy, uh, you know, characteristics for the aroma, 
but that doesn't necessarily translate into what it tastes like, right? You don't even like it, don't you? I know, it's not too bad. That says a lot. She doesn't like IPAs. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. So, your rating, Lady Faye, of the Head Hunter IPA is. I think that. 8.5! I like a little heavier of a beer, but really enjoyed that one. It is pretty light. So my rating for the Headhunter IPA is 8.1. Wow, that's the closest we've ever been. I know, I can't, would I necessarily get this? No. No? But, if this was free, and tonight it is, because she bought it, uh, you know, I can't turn My it down. My husband bought it. Oh, thanks, Diddy. Um, I, you know, I can't say no. I think, I think well, it's all right. If you don't like it, I'll just take that one down here. There you go. There we go. Thank uh, you. One to zero. <laughs> all right. Next in line is Fathead's Strange Magic IPA. And the ABV on this is 6.5%. All right, let me do mine Strange first again because... Magic. Let's see if it's magical. Uh, we you should like have... to take over this? Please. Okay. It's hard to do that. Here, let's do it over the little... No, because then it goes right to my foot. Right here? Yeah, that's what I did the first time. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I didn't spill. Head hunter right there. Okay. <laughs> So Actually, strange, strange magic. magic. Strange magic. Strange, strange magic. magic. Sorry. So six point five percent. All right. Uh, it, you know, it looks about the same, right? No, it looks a little less amber to me. Maybe a little lighter. A little, yeah, a little more golden. A little less amber. Ooh. Now, the hops used in this is definitely different yep. than the Head Hunter. The Head Hunter, I think, was more citrusy, lighter. This is a little more perfumey. This is more pungent. More pungent, more perfumey. Yep. All right, bottoms up. Ah. 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 Love it. I got the yuck face on that. Yeah. Take me with a spoon. <laughs> and like, oh my God. Like totally. Like, totally. Yeah. Love it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so I get this weird, like perfumey. It's strange. That's the name. I get this perfumey kind of like taste. I don't even want to yeah, taste it. Yet. Perfect. Name. And it kind of like lingers in your mouth for a while. Now I got yuck mouth. <laughs> well, I find it delightful. Okay. And well, I think the name is perfect because it's yeah. strange. It is strange. I can't put my finger on it. It's strange. I don't know. I got to drink the rest of that? Oh, you know what? We got an extra cup. <laughs> I'm using that to dump that in. Okay. <laughs> Lady Faye, your rating on Fathead Strange Magic IPA is? 7.8. 7.8. I like it a lot. I don't know if I could commit to an entire glass. Okay. Um, maybe a smaller portion. Definitely. Just because it is a little strange, but like I said, I'm I putting that off camera. I, uh. <laughs> My rating for the Fathead Strange Magic IPA is I'm going 6.5. I, I can't commit. I can't. Boo hiss. It's boo hiss. Go ahead. Throw that out. Banish it from my sight. <laughs> uh, I do not like that at all. I don't want perfume. It's like somebody dumped like some old lady perfume in my beer. Like it's I don't like perfume, it. Though. It's almost I don't know. Whatever it is. Skunky isn't the word. Well, it could be a little skunky. I don't know. I don't like it at all. All right, next all right. up is one of um, Fathead's famous beers, and that is the Bumbleberry. Right. Now, we did rate, we did review this one time. I thought so. With uh, Professor Hops, what but did you, give it you and I, I don't remember. remember. Please. That was like our first uh, show, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to try it again. Here. So this is called the Bumbleberry. You do it. You were better. 
Bumbleberry, it's the Blueberry Ale. And the ABV on this is 5.3%. Yeah, see? You're not doing any better than me. Sure show, lady. <laughs> it is better than Dr. Brewski. Come on. Hey, hey, look who's here. Mrs. Stoutfire. Mrs. in the house. <laughs> Cheers. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? We're Good. doing great. We're sampling all of uh, Fathead's products oh, well, tonight. We asked for two. Well, we, we got asked four. for two. <laughs> we got four. Which one are you guys on? We're on the Bumbleberry. Bumbleberry. You want to sit in? What's that? You want to sit in? Are you drinking? I got the groovy juice. We're going to do that last. You want to sit in on that one? Sure. Okay. 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 Lady <laughs> Stoutfire is getting ready for 80s Lady night. Lady Stoutfire is in house. In the house? Her house. Her house. We're right. just uh, tagging along for some action. <laughs> All right, so this next one is the Blueberry Ale, which is Bumbleberry, and the ABV on this is 5.3%. So if you smell it right away, like it smells like a little, little jammy, jammy. Little jammy. Little jammy. Little pint of blueberries. Mm. Yeah, so, um, you know, a little bit different color. You know, a little bit, a little bit darker, okay. amber, a light amber, a little hazy, a little hazy. Yeah, let's taste it. Oh yeah, not too sweet. A little bit of the blueberry hint, especially when you, Love it. Uh, you know, after you swallow. Uh, definitely lingers a little bit afterwards. Uh, very light here. I like to sip it and then smell it. It's, she's thinking of blueberry pie right now, folks. Blueberries in the summertime. Again, I couldn't drink a whole glass, but I really love it. I have drank a whole glass of this, and it is uh, very, very good. So, Lady Bay of IPA, your rating for the Bumbleberry Blueberry Ale is? 9.2. 9.2. Nice. This is high for you. It is high. And it's wow. High and it's beer. not even an IPA. It's an but ale. I really like it. Well, I like ales too. Yeah. But it's not too much um, on the fruity side. It's, it's just the right amount of sweetness. Yeah. I think it's great. I think it's got a great flavor. My rating for the Bumbleberry Blueberry Ale is 8.8. .8. You know, because it is blueberry. I would like to compare this rating with your previous one. Oh, uh, with the Strange Magic? No, with the last time you rated it to see how consistent I are. don't remember. Yeah, we'll have yeah. to look up in the archives to see. Go to the Diva Who Chronicles. knows? I could be hormonal today, too, so who knows? When you get to be my age, who knows? Go to the Diva Library. <laughs> but it is the list. Love it. All right, I'm going to put this off to the side. The last, last one, least. and I don't know where uh, this stop fire went, but the last one, oh boy, that's a lot. You're fine. It's the Groovy Juice <laughs> IPA. Now, this one has a little bit of a bite to it, too, at the ABV of 7.1%. So it's got a little bit more of a bite to it. You look right away. I mean, it is hazy Jane, baby. It is hazy bow baby. Right. Kind of orangey, almost like a hefeweizen. Oh, and the smell is tart. Oh, it is a little tart. 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 So I, I smell the citrus, but it's almost like a grapefruity. It is. Grapefruit. Citrusy. All right, we're tasting. Yeah, like it. I like Groovy. it. This reminds me of um, Elvis juice it does. from Brew Dog. Uh -huh. You're right. So it's got it's got to have a little bit of some type of juice in it, like um, maybe grapefruit or something. I think it's great that it gets that a little bit of that tartness, um, without but not too hoppy, yeah. not too sweet, yeah. not too hoppy. Um, I don't Tart. think it lingers too much. It's kind of smooth going down. I could drink a glass of this. Yeah. Well, you you will. You have a glass, yeah, and you got work cut out the rest that. of them, right? 
Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So your rating, Lady Faye, of the groovy juice, which actually is pretty cool for an 80s night with our get-up and everything. Groovy. Groovy juice IPA is 9.5. Woo! 9.5. Nine wow. I like it. I'm a fan of fat heads. My rating for the Groovy Juice IPA is 8.9. So I went up there, even though I'm not a hothead like somebody I'm so proud I know. Of you. Drinking all the but I you eight. know, it reminds me if I get that tart, grape, juicy, sometimes mango-y kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know, I could drink that. It's not too bad. It's delicious. Not too bad. Love it. Mrs. Stoutfire's in the house, ready to sample our last beer. Yeah, we groovy got the, juice. Yeah, Fathead's Groovy Juice. Da, 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 da. Did you already go over all the stats? Okay. Yep. We did. All right. So it's all about me and what I it's think. It's all about you. Okay. All right. So checking this out. Is this a hate? No, it's just a regular old IPA. So if you follow us and you've seen me, I'm not a huge IPA person, but sometimes there's ones that get me and I like them so smells like an IPA all right so I could probably definitely do a pint of this uh, a little bitter not too crazy definitely at the end I'm getting a little floral ishness green greenness to it um, doesn't hang on the tongue like so bitter that you just want to like um, so I think I'm going to give this one a 7.9. Pretty good for Mrs. Stampfire, who's Cheers. not an IPA drinker. Well, you guys got all kinds I got of a different retail. things going on here. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so next up, Lady Faye is going to tell you a little poem about beer. In honor of 80s night, Dr. Brewski has asked me to recite a poem by Jay Brooks from his website, Brookston Beer Bulletin. Thank you, Jay. What, what she forgot to add was that she will be acting out the poem as I read it. So get over here. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I want to be drinking while she's doing the poem. What do you think the bravest drink under the sky? Strong beer, said I. There's a place for everything, everything, anything. There's a place for everything. Where it ought to be. For a chicken, the hen swing. For poison, the bee sting. For almond blossom, spring. For beer house, me. There's a prize for everyone, everyone, anyone. There's a prize for everyone, whoever he may be. Crags for the mountaineer, flags for the fusilier. What? For English poets? Beer! Strong beer for me. Tell us now how and when. We may find the bravest men. A sure test, an easy test. Those that drink beer are the best. Brown beer, strongly brewed, English drink, and English food. Oh, never choose as Gideon chose by the cold well, but rather those who look on beer when it is brown and smack their lips and gulp it down. Leave the divas who tamely drink with Gideon by the water brink. But search the benches of the plow, the ton, the sun, the spotted cow. For jolly rascal, divas who pray, pewter in hand at close of day. Teach me to live that I may fear, 
the grave as little as my beer. Thank you. What's his name? Robert Graves. No, Jay Brush. Strong beer. No, Robert Graves. Oh, Robert Graves. That's who you did it. Thank you, Robert Graves. <laughs> and we did change some of the words. Add a D. Next up, quiz time. Quiz time. Quiz time. Quiz time. It's quiz time, quiz time. Quiz time, quiz time. All right, question number one. What is the technical term for brewer's yeast? Is it streptococcus? B, saccharomyces? Or C, E. coli? <laughs> I'm gonna go with A, streptococcus. I'll go with B, saccharomyces. And the answer is B, Saccharomyces. Streptococcus is like, you get strep like throat. throat. <laughs> I don't want that. But anyway, the Saccharomyces is a special yeast that gives beer that special flavor. It's different from bread yeast or champagne yeast. Okay, good to know. Question number two. What is the amber liquid called from the malted barley after they boil it? Is it A, just water? Is it B, syrup? Or is it C, wort? Wort. What she said. And the answer is, <laughs> that is correct, wort. <laughs> so boiling the malted barley converts the sugars into a form that the brewer's yeast can digest. And that gives us the carbonation and the fermentation to How make the beer. How do you spell that? W-A-R-T? Oh, O-R. Like oh, W-O-R. Yeah, not wart as in, ooh, I got something on my skin. It would be yeah. wart, W-O-R-T. Wart. Look at all the diseases today. I know. Wart, she's got, wart. She's got issues here. I need an antibiotic. She's stat, penicillin, stat. All right, third and final question. Labriophilus oh, is a collector what? of, is it A, beer mugs, is it B, beer bottles, or is it C, beer koozies? What is it again? Labriophilus. Is it cup collector? Koozies. Koozies, mugs, or bottles? Mugs. Koozies. And the answer is... B, beer bottles. Oh. A guy named Ron Werner holds the record. He has 25,866 different types of you know, beer bottles. We could probably help him out with that collection. He probably doesn't have a beer diva in his life. That's why he's so bored That's that right. he's keeping every <laughs> bottle to himself. I bet he lives with his mother. <laughs> <laughs> We should I have a bottle drive for him. <laughs> yeah, we, we got we got problems. So anyway, that's it for the show today. Thank you so much. Thank this you. This is Stoutfire and my special guest, Lady Faye of IPA. We're here at Mr. Subs Deli and Bar, and of course, we're here for Ladies Night and 80s, 80s Night. 80s Night. 80s go. Not that you can 80s. tell. That's right. No, we we dress like this all the time, right? <laughs> So that's it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss any episodes. And give us a thumbs up so this heads out into the YouTube universe. We got to grow. We're at 499 subscribers, so we need one more to hit the big 500, right? Oh, yeah. So make sure you get and subscribe, okay? Go out today and enjoy a nice cold brew with some friends and somebody that you love. Why? Because you're worth it. And remember, don't worry. Be happy. Be happy.